So how's it going guys, it's Susan Eight here. So today I'll be teaching you how to create your own OS profile picture without you know using any external software or any like Photoshop or whatever, it's just everything on your web. Uh so first you wanna download uh, get a save uh, like a picture of any resolution any picture that you want to put in your profile. I already got my picture, so I'm gonna move on to the website that you need to edit it on. So first off you need to go to an editor name 167.lunapic.com. Um links in the description below so um, what you want to do here first you want to click browse you get a picture and then wait for it to load yeah you get up you get a layout something like this so what you want to do first you want to resize the image or if you prefer the crop but I'm going to resize um, the ideal kind of size people usually put is 256 to 256 so you can do that as well and it's 256 I know it might look a bit kind of squeezed down but if you don't like that look and just crop out the parts that you want it to look kind of squarish and then just resize hold up resize then this is your picture right so you wanna save it right here and uh, I'm gonna save it to desktop why not uh, I'll name it Hi YouTube. All right. Uh, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to this website called Host Avatar Maker right here, hoststuff.org slash Avatar Maker. And then the when you <laughs> enter the website, it's basically a website where you help that help you to edit the borders and the text and everything. So this is the pictures that you know uh, people on the web have been using, and this is the avatar that they made, like this, you know, the before and this is the after. So you choose the file that you want. So I, I name it Hi YouTube. It's not there. It's in desktop. Hi YouTube. Okay. After you click Hi YouTube, you want to go and uh, you can crop this image. But like I said, I already resized it, so it's not necessary to crop. I'll just use this image. And uh, so at this point, it's basically all up to you. You don't have to follow what I do, but I'm just gonna make this quick. So let's pick a random border. Let's pick a let's pick. Let's pick this border. I'll put it mm, maybe a little yellow. Yes. Okay. You not. Know what? Yeah. Whatever color suits you, I guess. Uh. uh whatever okay I'm just chill with this whatever color is this alright then next thing you wanna do is you wanna enter your name uh, my name in OS is germ657 as you can see but for the sake of this video I'm gonna put my YouTube name here oh god I spelled it wrong and uh, after you got it down you can just you know make it bigger make it smaller tilt it to the side tilt it to the left whatever you wanna do you can change your font here as well you know I'm gonna just get a decent font let's get a time burner you can even use a scroll button to kind of change the size the text color you can you know this is the text color where you change inside the text turn it black turn it green or whatnot the outline is the, the outline of the of the character basically not the character but the character of the letter you can change it to black change it to white change it to whatever the hell you want the glow color is is kind of interesting you can just go yellow you see you can't really see much but when you increase like the god damn it Increase the glow distance. You can kind of see the kind of glow and shadowy look at the back of the text. So this is how you just add the glow, and this intensity just increases the intensity of the glow basically. So I'll show you this this color, I guess, but I, I don't really like the glow being too much. I'll take it to the side a bit. So this is my picture, right? Then after that, what you want to do is click finish and get avatar, and uh, after you click finish and get avatar you want to do what you want to do is you want to right click want to click save image as or save it where you want you want I'm gonna save it at desktop save it to my profile pick okay then uh, save it so I call pixelromatic uh, you go here click on this the first link Alright, so now we are in Pixelomatic. Uh, so what you want to do first, this is like I said, it's an optional um, kind of website too. You can add your filters and all the other good shit. So you want to hit the computer and you know, choose your picture that you just saved. My profile picture. And then you can choose like your kind of 
uh, how you call filters I guess let's say I could choose Hagrid there's a lot there's a ton more but then I'm just gonna use Hagrid wherever the hell it is and then you can go next and you can choose like kind of I'm not sure what are these called but then uh, you can kind of kind of change the pic the look of the picture I guess let's choose a random one let's choose Vene and then you can choose the border but like I said we already have a border so I don't think it's needed after that just click save and then you just click save on the computer and you can type whatever you want let's type lol lols okay and you can save it and then you can save it wherever you want but I'm not gonna save it because I, I prefer it in the original way okay so now just go to your profile and then hit on your profile picture choose file and then choose the file that you want which I named my profile picture I didn't actually save the pixelomatic one you upload it and boom that's basically it there's no external um, software that you need to use or there's no extra kind of downloads that you need to use it's just all on the web simple easy so that'll be it for today guys I'll see you guys next time bye